what is up guys and girls okay. so here we have another run on the uh night terror dlc now this is the harder version of nightmare and the technique i employ here is the avoidance technique so what that means is waiting until the end of every stage without killing any monsters and uh, waiting for the compactors to actually stop then go around collect all your scrap and then kill the enemies and then start the next stage now this all sounds good and easy in a verbal form but obviously when it comes down to it it's going to be way difficult and it's just going to take practice as per usual with anything like this and getting to know where the enemies spawn and where they could spawn so you don't get trapped but i'm not going to commentate the whole way through this but i'll speak up every now and again when there's like a strategy i might think is going to be good for you but if you're thinking of looking for a strategy guide on this, check out my other videos because I've got tons of Nightmare and Night Terror tutorials and walkthroughs, including the knife only runs, which is quite lucrative as well. So if you're looking for something like that, don't hesitate to check those out. And also, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'm always going to answer. So over here is where the first enemy spawns on Night Terror and Nightmare alone. And you can always get a, a couple of uh, hits in there to make it just a little bit easier when it comes down to actually killing them and i think sometimes through this i do kill them just to eliminate the complete boredom of running away from them all the time so you know you can mix it up figure out what you like to do now straight off the bat normally i would open up the second section but i bought things in a little bit of a strange order here you open up the other section because it connects up this, this room with the morgue and it's a lot easier to avoid enemies because you can run in a large circle but um this time I think I waited, but you can decide for yourself. It's always good to get the other compactor going straight away, and I think that's what I'm going to do in a second. Now this is what I was talking about earlier with damaging the enemies a little bit on these railings. Fairly safe, but get a couple of hits in there, run away. And I do it because it takes away their arms sometimes. You can cut off their extremities and they have, well, they lack the ability to actually hit you with that forward attack, which can help a bit if you haven't bought the speed upgrade and you're trying to get away from them. What also helps is to leave the scrap in that one like I did there. This gives you an idea of what the other ones are sitting on, especially when it gets to the later stage and you've upgraded your compactors. You don't want them to be full and not actually producing any scrap. So looking at this compactor here should be the same as others because you collect them all at the end of the round. And that also helps a fair amount.
So now you've got to be careful on the scrap collection because this side sucks. You get caught in those rooms very easily and also the passages. So the aim is to try and get as far ahead of them as possible. And again, a couple of hits in there to damage them. But um, you're always going to get trapped here at some point. And you could use a grenade launcher here because the ammo is quite cheap and it's really good for clearing up uh, the molded. But uh, it's probably something I should have done because I did take a lot of damage doing it this way. I just wasn't trying to rush it and then I walked straight into that guy. So this shit will happen. And I was thinking, this is my highest score yet of 575 by about 50 or 60. And I think it's unfortunate that you have to implement this kind of a strategy to, to actually get the highest score by avoiding them. And I hope I am wrong and I hope there is something big I'm missing. But to do that, it doesn't really make sense. You should get more more uh, experience or scrap at least for, for kills. And that will, you know, entice you to actually attack them and take them on. Now these four-legged molded can be a bitch, and the four-legged is actually the official name, funnily enough. But the first one will spawn right there. So he won't spawn, that's where he comes from. And he still gets a hit. The second one's going to drop from the ceiling right here. So if I aim a little bit more to the left now, I would have been on its head. And then there should be two more that spawn behind you. At pretty much the same time. No, nope, but he's actually behind me, so that might have been different, unless that's a third one. It probably, probably is a lot more. I mean, there are more bloated on this stage, on uh, Night Terror at least. So yeah, keep your distance, use the machine gun. I like using the machine gun. Or even maybe one shot of the, the grenade flame would sort these fuckers out instantly. So, you know, these are the notes that I make for the next run, but I only do maybe one or two runs in a day because it's just, it's just too long and it's actually... It's intense, you know, your heart beats faster and when you finish the night, you're like, oh, okay, relax. So I'm hoping that the infinite ammo unlock is going to put all that to sleep and you can just have a blast by fucking these guys up. Obviously with way less score because it gets uh, multiplied by 0.01 at the end. So if you're using the infinite ammo or circular saw, then you're not really going for scrap anyway. Keep it together. You survived this far.
Now the jack bite shouldn't be too difficult for you on the first one. All you need is a couple of these Nero pads, which I use in the other part of the stage because I like to use these ones at the end. It's a lot easier, a lot open space, and you can run around him just that much quicker. So now I'm going to wait for the compactor to stop, and I'm going to lead him to a, a Nero pad, and then I think I use the turret. The turret behind me on the right over there against the wall. That one is good to have upgraded to a Magnum stage, which is the third level, cost you a thousand scrap for when you fight him because he can get stuck on that Nero pad and the turret can also get him. And the turret will also shoot um, the molded. So he is uber fast and even if you're sprinting with one speed upgrade, he can still catch you. So I like to have the speed at full. It also helps with this section when you're running from area to area to grab your scrap. This is gonna be over. coming from.
Okay, I want to go home.
almost morning. Let's keep it together. I'm done! I'm gonna burn this fucking house down!
Okay, so the jack fight. Now the turret on my left, or behind me now, uh, would be useful if it is at max level, like I said earlier. And also having the knife uh, to the max as well will actually make this way easier because that's the main weapon I'm going to use. I will use the grenade launcher and stuff when he's surrounded by other molded or just to get rid of the other molded quickly so you can focus on him and then use these Nero pads right here to stun him as much as you can. And if you use the Nero pad closer to the turret in the background there, then he will get stuck on that pad and get destroyed by the turret. So when he's staggered, just go to town on him. Aim for his head if you can, but it is difficult because he does move around. Duck. That's not a duck. It's a pelican. Very, very ugly pelican. Okay, so there's some molded there. I was going to use the grenade, but I didn't have to. I'm not even sure if I used my Nero round, so that was a, a wasted purchase, I think. But just look out for those four-legged fuck sticks because they will destroy your plan very quickly and he will chop your head off, which is why I like to buy the adrenaline. I don't want to get to the stage, have him chop my head off, and your score is just, I don't know, a third of what it could have been. So the adrenaline is a must for me, and I might even consider it at this stage if I have used one to get the other one at 1500 because spending 1500 is way better than losing, I don't know, hundreds of thousands. And you can still use the adrenaline if he does his one hit kill, chops your head off. Okay, there goes the molded. And now he's on fire, which is awesome. So always run away in the direction that's gonna make him walk over the pad as you probably already know. I'm not sure when I activated the turret. I think I might have done it already. So now there's a four-legged there. I should have pulled out the grenade launcher. Ah, I do. <laughs> Couple more knife hits to most of those and they'll be dead. Or another flame round. Come on, Jack. Time for you to hit the road, Jack. So I'm going to be pumping out guides all weekend, and since it's coming to the stage where, you know, most things are done, most information is covered, I'm just going to find shit to do videos on, like Easter eggs and shit like that, and uh, I'm going to do a video on all the enemies, and the biographies, even the molded, where they come from, and shit like that, so I'm quite amped to do some research in that, stock up on my Resident Evil knowledge. The video I posted before this shows a glitch with Jack, where he walks into the floor, as in, he walks just like he is now, but his waist is actually touching the floor, so his legs are missing. That didn't actually pose a difference. The only difference was that the turret couldn't shoot him, which was unfortunate because I had upgraded it to the, um, the magnum level, the final level. So check that out if you can. Okay, he's down. Toodles, motherfucker. Try and kill these guys if you can, because you will get score for them. But they will melt like so. Okay, so he's down, my highest run so far. 575, I think it's 800. Or is it 500? It doesn't really matter, but like you know, putting this technique to work can be profitable and it is the longest and most boring way to do it, but if it means I get the infinite ammo just that much quicker, then why the fuck not? 575, 100. I was wrong both times. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you with some end screens. I hope you found the video enjoyable and informative. And please remember to like if you like and subscribe if you really liked. And I'll see you next time.